Okay, chapter 7, Balancing Chemical Reactions. It's pages 105 through 107, exercise 7b. This is about as important as anything you're going to be doing because if you don't have a balanced equation, you won't be able to know what's going on with the reactants and the products. So, how do we go about balancing equations? Well, the most important thing is to be systematic about it. Systematic approach. And the key, of course, is that in order to have a balanced equation, by balance we mean the same number of atoms of each element will be found on both sides of the equation. So this is my, or a great way of doing things where you stay systematic. Pick the most complicated compound and give it a coefficient equal to one. And then you move back and forth across the arrow from reactants to products, balancing one element at a time, save oxygen and hydrogen for last. And after you're all done, if all the coefficients are integers, counting numbers, then you're done. But if any are fractions, you want to start over at step one, making that most complicated compound coefficient of two. And if that doesn't work, try three and if that doesn't work try four and if that doesn't work you've made a mistake because I'm not going to give you a problem in this course that two three or four won't work there's plenty of reactions that don't work that way but we won't give you one any more complicated okay so let's take a look here are three possible examples for you to see what you can do try to figure them out hit the pause button and when we come back we'll take a look and see how you did. Okay, pause. Okay, we're back. Let's give it a go. Clearly between these four compounds this is the most complicated so if that's the most complicated let's call that a one. If that has a coefficient of one does that not mean that on the left side of the equation here we have four carbons and eight hydrogens. Well, sure it does. Well, to get four carbons on this side, since this is the only compound that has carbon, clearly we need four of these. To get eight hydrogens on this side, clearly, because this is the only compound that has hydrogen on this side, this has to be a four. Now that we have these two coefficients, all the coefficients on the reactant, or I'm sorry, on the product side, we can add up the oxygens and see if we can get the oxygens to balance. This is four times two, or eight oxygens. This is four oxygens. So what's eight plus four? That's 12 oxygens on the right. So to get 12 oxygens on the left, to get them balanced, that coefficient needs to be a 6. Everybody's a counting number coefficient. So we're done. That's the balanced equation. Let's try another one. Again, clearly the most complicated molecule out of all these is going to be this guy. Good. So, if that's a 1, once again we have 4 carbons and eight hydrogens, which means to get four carbons, that's a four. To get eight hydrogens, that's a four. Now, how do we add up the oxygens this time? This is four oxygens plus eight oxygens. Means there's 12 oxygens again, okay, on the right. So we need 12 oxygens on the left. Looking real familiar, doesn't it? Except for one thing. We have one here. Which means, if I say that there's a 5, then that's 11. If I say there's a 6, then that's 13. So this won't work. These coefficients will not work because I cannot get the right number. It would be five and a half. And that's a fractional coefficient. We can't have that. So how do we go about doing this business? 
we have to start over and try two. So if there are two C4H8Os, that means there's a total of eight carbons. which means we would need eight carbons here. And two times eight is 16 hydrogens. So to get 16 hydrogens, I would need to have a coefficient of eight here. Okay, good. So that's 16 oxygens from the CO2 and eight oxygens from the H2O, what's 16 plus 8? That's 24 oxygens on the right. 24 oxygens on the left. Since I have two oxygens here, two oxygens, and I need 24, that means 22 oxygens have to come from here and that coefficient would be an 11. So check your work. 22 plus 2 is 24 oxygens. Everything else balances. There you go. You just have to be systematic and things go a lot faster than if you try different numbers and hope it all works out. So this is the balanced equation here. Alright, let's try one more might be a little bit tricky to decide which one's the most complicated. I'm going to go with this one because it has the most atoms. And while you might automatically start with one, I hope you can tell that that's never going to work here because we have three hydrogens. We can't make three. It's never going to work. So let's try two. If there are two, that means two nitrogens and six hydrogens. Therefore, this would have to be two nitrogens. And to get six hydrogens, that would have to be a three. Well, we've got another issue, don't we? Because with these two coefficients, we know exactly how many oxygens we have on this side. Four oxygens plus three oxygens makes seven oxygens on the right and that would be three and a half oxygens. That won't work. We can't get this to work because it will be a fractional coefficient here. So let's try again with three NH3s, but that won't work, right? Can you see why three in front of the night, the NH3 won't work here because that means nine hydrogens, and you can't get an odd number of hydrogens here, so three isn't going to work. Are we panicking yet? No, we're not panicking yet because two didn't work, or one didn't work, and two didn't work, and three didn't work. Let's try four. Uh, I'll use black pen here. Four NH3s. That means four nitrogens and four times three or twelve hydrogens. To get four nitrogens, that has to be a four. To get twelve hydrogens, that has to be a six. Now that I add that coefficient and that coefficient, I can add up all the oxygens. doing some work underneath four NH3s, leaves me with four nitrogens and 12 hydrogens. That four would give me four nitrogens. That six will give me 12 hydrogens. So let's add up all the oxygens on this side. Six oxygens plus four times two or eight oxygens. Eight, 10, 14 oxygens on the right to get 14 oxygens on the left. That has to be a seven. That's it. That's our balanced 
equation if you stay systematic I'm telling you you'll be able to get these to balance and if you don't you might be wasting a lot of time okay have at it exercise 7b good luck